Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm here to present our final year project presentation. Uh, that's uh, the topic is automatic power factor controller. Uh, group member is uh, my, myself, Sanaullah, and my group member is Muhammad Yasir, under the supervision of uh, Ola Akbar and uh, co supervision of engineer Virban. Content, uh, introduction, objectives, uh, block diagram, simulation circuit, uh, hardware, and future work. Introduction in the current innovative upheaval, uh, power is of great significance in the power generation, uh, transmission, and distribution is becoming uh, more and more complicated as uh, time passes uh, due to extensive use of uh, inductor loads. Especially in industries, the power factor reduced, uh, power factor is calculated uh, by stepping down the line voltages and the line current by using the instrument transformer. Uh, both the analog signal are converted uh, to digital signal with the help of zero crossing detector circuit. Uh, this, uh, the signal are fed into summer circuit, uh, the output of which gives uh, the time delay between the voltage and the current signal. Uh, the output is fed into microcontroller, which calculates the uh, power factor with the help of an internal timer. Actually, um, due to uh, low power factor, uh, there are some drawbacks, uh, like um, the efficiency of the loads uh, may be reduced. When the efficiency is low, then obviously there will be uh, billing cost will be more. So to overcome this drawback, we have made this prototype um, uh, to make a power factor controller which will improve the power factor of inductive loads, um, then the billing cost will be reduced. After the calculation of power factor, the microcontroller switches the required number of capacitor from capacitor bank with the help of relay module uh, to achieve desired power factor, uh, which we enter uh, through keypad. Uh, it is actually the new innovation uh, to uh, in this project, uh, like we can enter our own desired power factor. Like if we enter 0 0.9, then, um, a relay module will switch the capacitor bank and the power factor will be improved up to 0 0.9. So objectives, uh, monitoring power factor continuously, adjusting power factor uh, automatically, uh, correcting power factor to use a defined value, design a uh, portable power factor correcting device, uh, improving efficiency, uh, power factor improvement to our own desired value, the review paid, uh, which I discussed earlier. Now this one is the block diagram. Uh, this is the 220 SE supply. Uh, this one is the current transformer. This one is the potential transformer. Actually, the current transformer is connected in series while the potential is connected uh, in parallel. And this one is the load, inductive load, which is connected uh, the power supply. And this uh, prototype, this prototype is connected with the uh, 220 volt supply and load. This uh, transformer is fed into a ZCD I, and this um, potential transformer is. Um, uh, to ZCDB. These uh, both are zero crossing data circuit. Uh, actually, uh, it work is it convert the uh, sign signal into a digital signal into square wave. Then the square wave signal goes into summer circuitry. Summer circuitry work uh, same like a star gate. Uh, it will calculate the time period which will further goes to the uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller which will calculate the power factor uh, and phase shift when. And we can enter our own desired power factor through GPAD. Uh, it will compare if it is less, then it will uh, switch the circuit, uh, switch the relay module, uh, and switch the capacitor bank. So our power factor will be uh, improved. This one is the power supply, as we know that uh, power supply is used for um, different circuit like OPAMP IC, summer circuitry, uh, Arduino, and uh, relays. Now, uh, flow chart actually start from here. Uh, this one is the signal from CT, the signal from PT, both will go to ZCD here. And these both signal uh, will be goes to the Arduino. Uh, in Arduino, the perfect will be calculated. Here is the case, uh, the perfect is greater than uh, 0 0.9 if uh, this case is false. If this case is false, then the relay module will switch the capacitor. And if this case is true, like perfect is greater than 0 0.9, and if it's true, then the power factor will be displayed on the LCD uh, before the correction and after the correction. Now this one is the simulation circuit diagram. Actually, this one is the 
voltage power supply this one is a current and this one is the zcd circuit this one uh, for voltage and this one is the zcd circuit for current so we see here here is the sine wave uh, like uh, you see the probes here this one and this one this one is a sine wave um, here if you see here is a phase shift of uh, some angle this phase shift is due to the inductive load as you know that due to inductive load the current is lagging so that's why here is phase shift and this one wave form is the output of zcdb and this wave form is the output of zcdi if you see here this one is sine wave uh, at input and this one is the uh, square digital wave uh, at output same as case for zcdi so at this point this is the wave form this one here is phase shift as i said it is because of the inductive load and it will goes to summer circuitry uh, if you see here uh, it uh, summer circuitry works same like its or gate uh, at uh, different input uh, its output um, will be one, while at same input, its output will be uh, zero. If you see here, here both are one one. The current and voltage signal both are one one, so its output is zero. While if you see here, uh, here the um, uh, voltage signal is one, is zero, while the current signal is one. So uh, these both are different inputs, so its output is one. So uh, so on for further cases. And this one is the power supply. Uh, we have uh, made power supply because we need this for um, different purposes like for Arduino, for keypad, and for LCD, and for ZCD. And when uh, the, and then this signal will goes to the uh, Arduino here, and Arduino will calculate the power factor. Uh, we can enter all or design for desired power factor through keypad. Like if we enter 0 0.9, so it will compare uh, with our own desire and the actual uh, which have inductive load. So if it is less, then it will uh, switch the relay circuitry. Now uh, this one is the ZCD uh, for voltage. Uh, this one is the uh, main power supply. There's the same circuit. This one, but is uh, clearly shown here. And this one is the waveform. And this is the phase difference actually. Uh, this one is the same circuitry like uh, this one. Phase difference this is because of the inductive load. There is the current and voltage phase difference. Now, some are XR gate. Uh, XR gate is used to add the two uh, square wave signal. Its output is the time lag between the zero crossing of the voltage signal and current signal. As I said earlier, the, 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 this circuit is really uh, same like this R gate, like it's seven, it, uh, same input. Uh, its output will be zero while a different uh, different input its output will be one and we can see here this one is the input and this one is the output now uh, microcontroller actually we have built all the uh, things together the, with the lcd uh, arduino keypad the relay module the capacitor bank and the loads we all have embedded all the things together like an interfacing LCD, interfacing keypad, interfacing relay module, calculating power factor, calculating phase angle, uh, choosing capacitor value, uh, continuous monitoring power factor. Uh, now my friend will tell you about the hardware and result. Muhammad Yasser, please. Uh, so we have used uh, we have used uh, capacitor 85 for inductive load, which is uh, present in our lab for testing and 100 watt resistive load so we have calculated uh, capacitance for that by formula q is equal to v squared divided by xc so then uh, this is the zero crossing detector hardware result you can see the blue wave which is a uh, voltage wave and uh, the yellow wave which is voltage sorry and uh, the blue wave is of current and uh, which is of resistor, you can see there is no phase shift between them. So next one there is, you can see the phase shifter, which is uh, due to inductive load. Here we are, connect, we are connected uh, about uh, 80 milli Henry inductive load. And you can see the phase shift between both current and uh, voltage wave. So this is a power factor earlier when uh, we connect the inductive load uh, without correction. So you can see here 0 0.66 is uh, our uh, power factor, and you can see also the phase shift. So next one after correction, when the automatic power uh, work controller corrected the phase shift and have injected uh, have injected uh, capacitance and uh, 
power factor get improved. So we get a power factor of 0 0.86 and phase shift of 30. So this is the hardware result. Uh, you can see this is the zero crossing circuit. This is the main circuit board. This is relay module and this is 12 volt uh, transformer for uh, measuring uh, voltage of the voltage signal of the so what is the conclusion um, we have designed uh, we have provided an uh, efficient technique uh, of measuring power factor and detecting power factor and correcting the power factor so the aim of uh, this project uh, to overcome power losses due to low power factor uh, usually associated with the low small industrial units so the prototype we have made is uh, have a rating of 2.5 kva and uh, this can be extended uh, to about uh, 25 kva uh, but uh, in a future work uh, we will extend this rating to about 200 kva uh, so this can be used in industries so we can increase uh, its rating so uh, that is the presentations of our project. Now uh, you can see uh, the hardware. Of